What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to, well, guess what? The shield version of uh, the Isle of Armor right here on my Pokemon Sword Shield walkthrough. Now, I have mentioned this in Pokemon Sword. We could have done this one of two ways, and that is that, you know, combine them both together and just show the differences, or you split them apart and just do them, uh, do them the same and show them the different, uh, or show the different Pokemon that can be shown right here. So as you can see, the Isle of Armor, we got the pass now. And the, we can actually go into the Wedgehurst Station in order to go to the Isle of Armor. Now the second pass that we have earned is the Crown Tundra Pass. So there it is, Armor Pass. And then we got the Crown Tundra, which we can actually go into the Wedgehurst Station and, you know, do the same thing. So there it is, guys. We got two passes in all. Anywho, it has been a while, guys. A long, long time since I've been back in Pokemon Sword and Shield. As already, like as you guys already know, I combined the both games in order to show the differences. Didn't really do much of a good job of it, but I did show quite a few differences. You know, different Pokemon and all that stuff. And in this one right here, I am going to play Pokemon Shield version, and I'm going to actually. Uh, I'm going to show you the different Pokemon that you can actually find. Now, there is a small difference in the Isle of Armor, which is that, you know, different types of Pokemon here and there, but it's also the Pokemon that I want to get going into the Isle of Armor. Now, going into the Crown Tundra, there is just one difference, maybe, maybe a few, and that is the legendary Pokemon you can actually find there. What I want to do is I want to showcase everything I can this may prolong the, you know, this may be a single uh, weekend, but it is something to look forward to for all of you guys because you guys have been wanting this back, especially since, you know, the newer games are going to be coming out pretty soon here. Now, if you talk to this gentleman, he's going to be like, oh, that's the armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. You, can, you have the crown pass, too. You can also go into the crown tundra. Where would you like to go today? Obviously, let's go to the Isle of Armor because we want to check out Pokemon Shield's version of the Isle of Armor. So here we go, going into the tree or into the train, and then we go into the uh, you know Shadow Blade. I think that's what I called it. And bam, we are in the Isle of Armor. This is nice. This is awesome right here. Okay, the Isle of Armor. We are landing. Of armor, we are landing. Man, it feels good to be back in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And well, here we are. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? Sure, it is. I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch on this island on your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. And bam, we get ourselves our Pokedex updated. Now we can actually capture Pokemon from the Isle of Armor without any kind of uh, drawback right here. So once we're done capturing all of these Pokemon in the Isle of Armor, we can actually show her and I think we actually get a good, like a nice, uh, nice prize. Now, as you can see in Pokemon Shield, we've only seen two Pokemon that come from the Isle of Armor. Hoping to be more. There are a lot more Pokemon right here, guys. So talk to this individual right here. And he's like, I'm supposed to do join the dojo on this island today, but there's a strange person standing outside the station, and I'm a bit scared to head out. Uh-oh. And he's running away. Now, we are playing Pokemon Shield. In Pokemon Sword, you're going to be meeting Clara, the Poison-type gym leader. Eventual Poison-type gym leader. And in this one right here, is that we got a different person. Hmm. You're the traveler I was supposed to uh, guide, uh, am I right? Exactly when we uh, agreed to meet, too. Quite the commemorable punctuality. Hmm. I've got the strangest feeling we've met before, but I can't recall. And here I thought amnesia was for Slowpoke, uh, Slowpoke's move. Oh, damn. And here we have Avery. So my name is Avery. I'm a senior member of the dojo uh, you are to join. Uh, what dojo? I think you are you got the wrong person. You're here to join the Master Jojo, aren't you? I also train here. Uh, my goodness, this is a thick one, like a poor lost wound. It's up to me to—it's up to me as an elegant adult to make sure they get the message. Perhaps a show of strength is the best way to show it to, to know each other. I'll wait 
I'll wait outside. Once you're ready, come out and face me. Hmm. Time to show him the better train is. Oh wow, he, did talk. He, he also talks under his breath. Wow. Okay, so shield version, we got Avery, the scary psychic type trainer, I think. I don't know. The Pokeballs are flying around its its his his top hat and well, look at that. We are in the Isle of Armor and it is beautiful. Very beautiful, guys. Look at that. Hmm. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? You would no doubt like to run around and explore freely, but first, let's make sure you can handle yourself. Naturally, as a member of the Master Dojo, I'll be using my psychic powers to test your strength. Come on now. Don't overexert yourself. Oh, damn. Scary guy. Kind of looks like a female. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Avery, and... <laughs> wow! This is awesome. Okay, so... Those things come out of his head, okay. <laughs> I'll show you true power looks like. Okay, so he's very flamboyant too. And well, let's go with a Dragon Claw because, uh, you know, fighting type Pokemon, Psychic type, Dragon Claw, physical attack, for the win. You see, I am doing this in my sleep right now. Oh yes, okay. Pokemon Trainer is about to come out with a Slowpoke, okay. When did I get my beat down um, from my last Pokemon? Did you use hypnosis on me? Probably. Alright, so here we have the poison slash psychic type Pokemon, Slowpoke, Galarian Slowpoke, and well, we're gonna be using some Bulldoze right here, and that doesn't look like it's working, but it lowers its speed just a tad, and here comes an acid attack from a Galarian Slowpoke. Doesn't really work much, but it will lower our special defense. <laughs> I've dealt the first damage you've taken on this island. Okay, and then never said that we were invincible, but here comes a boom burst. Boom and burst. And uh, there goes Galarian Slowpoke for the win. Okay, alrighty. So we've defeated the Pokemon Trainer every. My strength, I'm in Psy Shock! <laughs> his, his Pokeballs have gone down. Get it? Pokeballs. Uh, mm, could you give me a moment? Improbable. No, improbable! What kind of a trick did this kid use? If a trainer of this talent arrives to the dojo, then the people there very much may suffer amnesia about my very existence! If only I can get rid of him. But I've been tasked with, with escorting him to the dojo. Dot dot dot. Got it! <clears throat> You have potential. Why? You made me use a whole 3% of my strength. Still, how shall I put this? Our dojo is a respected place where even the famous champion Leon trained. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're quite up to the snuff. Therefore, I suggest you ignore the master dojo standing over there. Head home soon as you can, or so soon as you're done seeing the sights. I suppose you can have this too as a parting gift. And we get ourselves a style card, okay. And of course, the style card, it increases the selection in boutiques and hair salons. Show it when you, uh, show it next, uh, or show it when you next visit a boutique or hair salon, and I'm sure you'll be able to find some more elegant garb like mine. Now then, farewell, I doubt I'll see you again every teleport. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting right there. Well, like you said, let's go ahead and take a visit of uh, this whole location right here. Now, if you uh, if you guys have already seen my Pokemon uh, my Pokemon Shield version or so Sword version, you're gonna see some similar Pokemon. You're gonna be seeing a lot of berries. You're gonna be seeing a lot of items right here. Hell, there's even a uh, Whale Lord right up into the uh, horizon right there, and you're gonna be meeting some Sharpedos too. So just be aware of that. And I guess what I'm trying to do right here is I'm just trying to show the differences, guys. And maybe, just maybe, I'm just putting in a little extra episodes, but, you know, it's me being informational now that we're splitting it apart. And here we have a 2,000 watts, and we're going to be meeting up with a bug and rock type Pokemon. So, let's see. I think I got the Pokemon for this. Okay, I'm going to cut out from this scene, and if I capture them, then I'll show it to the very end right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we caught ourselves a five-star crustal right here, and as you can see, you get a lot of stuff from capturing a level five uh, or five-star Pokemon like 
bunch of TRs, good uh, Stardust items, Armorite ore, something pretty big around here, and of course the experience candies that you could get. So yeah, that was pretty uh, that was pretty interesting right there. We're not gonna nickname this guy right here since we already caught one. Let us just move on and just explore this whole place right here because yeah, we got a lot we got a lot to ex uh, uncover right here. Like the interesting Pokemon ca catch Benary right here. Some uh, Alolan Pokemon that, you know, you can only find in Alola. Hell, look at that. Look at that. Kingler. Looking like a pretty uh, good badass right there. Now, like I said, if you go into the ocean right here, you're going to be finding a lot of interesting Pokemon. One being a, uh, well, you're going to be finding a, whatchamacallit, uh, what's his name? Sharpedo right here. You can almost feel him in the horizon and all that stuff. But a lot of islands that you can actually get. And some of the usual Pokemon like Mantikes. And that right there is a Whale Lord. Now, I'm not going to go after it right now because to me it seems like a, a once a once a day Pokemon. But as you can see right here, that right there is a uh, Sharpedo. They will appear from time to time to try and capture you and battle you and all that stuff. So you better be quick because these guys are even quicker. And, well, here we are in the island and we're going to be meeting up with her. Touch and clean, memories, toil, I do not know what this is. So yes, Armorite Oil right or Armorite Ore is gonna be a very interesting thing to get because you can actually get a lot of thing a lot of things done, a lot of things given to you and all that crud. And well, I do sense another Pokemon trying to get us, so we're gonna go super fast on this one right here because I feel a disturbance in the force and well this guy is about to get us and we need to update our bike. We really do, because uh yeah. <laughs> It's not the fastest one, and here we have an execute or an executor, executor, I should say. And there will be a person around here where you can actually trade an executor for a Nolan executor. And well, let's see. We're gonna not battle a uh, Blipbug right here because not really a Pokemon I want to get. I've already gotten them before, and we're just gonna grab some items, check some of the sites around, and all that crud. Actually, you know what, hold on, we're going to press this button right here, and we're going to just shake the tree. And there we go, okay, shake it again, shake it again. Shake, shake, shake it, oh yeah. Alright, now the other thing too is that with these trees, you can actually get apricots, and if, uh, if that, if, if, if you guys remember, apricots are being, are used to actually get, uh, or actually make some Pokeballs right here. Which there will be an area where you can actually get, where you can actually uh, combine these apricots to make Pokeballs right here. Some rare Pokeballs. And look at that, we found ourselves some Dittos. There's a lot more things out there, including the towers, interesting Pokemon, caves and whatnot. And, well, a lot of the stuff right here is going to go a little bit more smoother because, of course, we've already been through Pokemon Sword. So I think I already have an idea of what to do right here. And, well, let's see, let's go ahead and grab this little sucker right here, Galerica Twig. Now, Galerica Twig here is another rare item, a twig, that, a twig from a species of, call, of tree called Galerica that grows in certain areas around Gal the Gala region. It's a, it's a material for an ancestry for a certain Pokemon. Pretty nice. Now, let's see, there's plenty, plenty of executors right here, but I kind of need to get to the next island right here. Again, we're going to briefly explore just a few things around here, guys, and not get attacked by these Sharpedos. Look at this guy. He's trying to get us. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. And Mantike right here is going to be uh, another Pokemon. Now, there are some waves around here. There are some waves around here that you can actually get. I don't know if you can actually get to the waves right here. And, well, let's see. Oh, there's an item right here. There we go. So a lot of these stuff that you'll find around here is just, uh, you know, feathers and whatnot. Now, if you guys are looking into getting this uh, Waylord, Waylord is at level 80, so just be prepared for that one right there. And here we found ourselves a dubious disc, and, well, there's an item right here that we can get. I see a shiny stuff. Something shiny around here. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to her. Hi, I came here from a different region. I'm looking for a Galarian Pokemon. Maybe you have a Mr. Mime from here. You give me a Galarian Mr. Mime to me, I could give you the one from my region. Okay, so let's see if I have an, a spare Mr. Mime. 
Yeah, we don't have the Pokemon because I think we already evolved the Pokemon. And we're using them on our team too. And we're going to stay as far away as, uh, as possible from this Pokemon. It is... Yeah, this game has really, really showcased how big a uh, whale mer or a whale lord it truly is. And let's see, I feel a disturbance in the force yet again. See, that's how they get you because you're, you're going to try and get some of the items. You're going to try and get some of the uh, the watts right here. And these guys are going to get you. And well, let's see. There we go. Wishing peace. There we go. Let's go right ahead and let's ride. And I see a Sharpedo lurking in the distance. This guy's going to try and get it. So let's go right ahead and speed up ahead. Of course, my speed is not... Well, this speed on the bike right here is not as big as what it was in Pokemon Sword. So we're going to have to update that it's sooner rather than later. And, well, here we have another Sharpedo ready to attack us. And press that button. Press that button. Oh, my God. Goddamn Sharpedo wanting to attack us, eat us, and all that stuff. Yes, I'm pedaling. I'm pedaling! And here we go in another island. And, well, if you talk to this girl right here, she can weave together Galerica twigs so you can uh, make a bracelet. Now, we need eight Galerica twigs, which we don't have. And as you can see, you're not mistaken, guys. That is a Rotom right there. The electric or the grass-type Pokemon. And, well, I'm not going to attack it right now because don't really need a, a Rotom. But later on in my walkthrough or later on in my adventure right here, guys, I will be capturing some newer Pokemon. You know, just to level up, make some teams and all that stuff. See what I can do right here because this place, yeah, this is opening up a whole new horizon and all that stuff for, you know, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, I really, really wish... I really wish that I could have done this early on. I mean, I remember uh, back in May, I think, the last time I had a Pokemon break, or last time I had a break, was towards the end of May. And that's when I got a whole lot of uh, videos done, and that's when I got done with like the initial part here of Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. So, in this one right here, I believe we're going to be doing five episodes of the Isle of Armor. And it, I'm going to be doing it weekly, basically. You know, I'm going to be opening uh, or I'm going to be posting up the videos weekly, every weekend. That way, you guys can get a episode of the Isle of Armor. This, of course, will actually give me enough time to actually uh, to to well, it'll give me enough uh, time to actually record these episodes, uh, focus on the walkthroughs that I need to focus. As uh, like, I don't think I've said it before, or I don't think I'm. I don't think I've said it so far, but yeah, uh, Pokemon Moon will be coming back pretty soon here, and I've done I've done uh, I've done quite a few recordings on Pokemon Moon, so be aware of all that right there, guys. And well, as you can see, we are getting more items right here, and let's see, I grab that. Now here, you're gonna actually find yourself a Jigglypuff and Abra. I think I've already captured those two guys. Now. Let's see, that is a Kingler right there. In this area right here alone, you can actually find yourself a Rockruff, Terraruff. That's the Pokemon that I've had in, or I have in Pokemon Moon. And let's see, I'm just looking for some items right now, guys. I'm not really going to do anything except just take a tour of this whole place right here. That way you guys can get an idea of what, what you'll, you'll actually find later on. And yeah, I'm going to try and avoid these guys like the plague right now. So let's go right ahead, and let's go into the into the ocean yet again. And there's gonna be there are gonna be some spots right here where you can actually avoid these torpedoes. But you know, in here you're gonna be going into a ravine, and you're gonna be grabbing this right here. So try and stock up on a lot of watts too, guys, because there's gonna be a lot of things here that you can actually get. And well, let's see. There's an island right there to which we've already gotten to. I think we've already gotten right here. So let's go right ahead and go towards the other side. Let's go towards the focus. Uh, let's go towards the focused uh, field, I think. Focus field or focused uh, forest. And towards the side, you'll be able to find some more items right here. I need to update my bike. I really do. I need to update the bike as soon as possible. And, well, let's see. What else can you find right here? I do not know. 
this is this is the this is the beauty of this whole game right here, especially playing uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield version. So here we are, workout C, and we're gonna try and stay away from these goddamn Sharpedos. You can already hear one in the distance, and this one will take us, I think, to a tree. Right? There's a tree right here. Yeah, I've already been here before. Holy crud! Holy crud! Okay, so. Here we are in another area of the of the island, and this is a stepping stone uh, sea. And this place you'll get very acquainted to. As you can see, there is a frillish, the female version. And oh, oh, there's a Gyarados, the Loop Lagoon. I'm gonna grab that. Holy crud! Yeah, this this place again is opening up to a lot of stuff. Look at that. They, Look at all these Pokemon. Really? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's just a lot of Pokemon I want to capture here. A lot of items that I want to get. So we're going to go right here. And grab that. Stock up on some wattage. And again, I'm just uh, taking small tours of the place, guys. Nothing too big. Just so you guys can see what you can actually find right here in Pokemon Sword version, or Shield version, I should say. And grab that, Galerica Twig, so we're stocking up on those things. And, wow, we do not want to mess with that Pokemon right now. And, well, look at this. We are going inside the Courageous Cavern, which I guess you'll get acquainted to later on into your adventure right here. And we're going to grab that. And, wow, didn't want to go in there. Alright, so let's go right ahead and not capture some of these Pokemon. And look at that. Okay, so you're going to be finding yourself at the Challenge Beach, too. Man. Man, it feels like home over here. Like, you're going to be you're gonna be seeing a lot of stuff, guys. Just a lot of stuff. And, well, let's see. I think we are close by to the place where we need to go to. As you can see, you're going to find Lick Lickily. And a few items right here, too. Let's, let's grab this, a Poke Doll. That is across the stream, so we're going to have to wait on that for the next episode or so. And, well, is there anything else I need to talk to you guys about? Look at that. The Focus Forest. You're going to be seeing a lot of stuff right here, guys. And, you know what? Let's go right ahead and try and capture another Pokemon while we're at it. And we got a five, or we got a three-star Heracross right here, so let's go ahead and switch up a Pokemon. Let's see... Do I have a proper poke? Oh, you know what? Let's go with Krakatoa. I for completely forgot I had this guy right here. So I'll be right back with you guys after I hopefully capture this guy. Alrighty, guys. So we got that Heracross, and it was a pretty good Heracross right there. So we're going to be moving on right here, just grabbing some more items and talking about things that we're going to be doing right here in uh, the Isle of Armor. Now, I've already played the sword version of Isle of Armor, and I'm planning on doing the same thing hear what I did in Pokemon Sword, just, you know, each, uh, each, uh, well, Saturday and Sunday, there will be the, uh, Sword version, or Sword and Shield version of, uh, Isle of Armor, one per day, that way, one per, one, one per, uh, one per weekend day and all that stuff, and that way, you know, it gives me enough time to actually, uh, to record the rest of the stuff. Not only that, but we still got other versions, like the other stuff to do, like, you know, the Crown Tundra and whatnot. Um, I see that there's just a little bit more that we need to uh, accomplish in both uh, both areas, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Like, there's plenty of legendaries, a lot of secrets and all that stuff that you need to uncover. And for me, I kind of want to do the main game first before I even go into, like, legendaries or whatnot. So that's why I'm doing the one per, uh, one per day on the, uh, on the whole thing because it gives me time to just look at it, to research it, and, you know not get too ahead of myself because remember we're, we're like I'm I'm coming out with a boatload of walkthroughs right here onto this channel and you know it, it's only because I kind of want to just uh, to have extra episodes for you guys that way you don't miss on anything especially me because you know I have been I have been gone for about a month doing walkthroughs and all that stuff and you know why why work why work harder when you can work smarter and that is just putting in extra episodes for these uh for this channel right here since you guys have been super supportive of of me i mean we're close to 10,000 subscribers right here guys 
I need to get there before the end of the year, so let's go ahead and grab it. And let's go ahead and grab that thing right there. And I do not want to get attacked by that guy right now. Here we have the TM or TR78 Toxic or Sludge uh, Sludge Wave. And yes, we get ourselves some more Watts right there. This guy's been waiting for us. Okay, so the Focus Force right here is a place where, yeah, you're going to have to be very focused because, uh, <laughs> yeah. You get, you get so confused, you get lost. Here we are in the Soothing Wetlands. I think I've already been here before, but you'll be able to find some interesting Pokemon right here, like Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and then, uh, well, you know what? Let's go, let's go right back. And there's a Pika Blue. You may have mentioned something about Pika Blue and all that crud. And, well, there is another area right here where we can capture a Pokemon. So we're gonna do this one last time, and then after that, we're gonna head, head on back. And it looks like we're going to be going up against another one of these uh, Pokemon I captured. So, I'm going to have to go with a grass type right here. Let's see. Do I have it? Yes, I do. I have Optimus Prime right here. Not that strong just yet. Oh, crud. None of my Pokemon here are strong. Man, I need to, I need to pick it up. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. And uh, look at that. We got ourselves a Lanier. Hmm. What about Team One right here? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I need to I need to fix up right here, guys, because you know I've been on and off this games for quite some time, and it looks like to me, yeah, it looks like to me we're gonna have to exit out of this. Okay, so we're we're gonna exit out of that. We're not gonna be doing it. We're just gonna be heading on back and just completing this game, complete starting our our adventure and all that stuff. So let's see, we are back in the fields of honor. And you have seen, or you seem to have an awesome bike. Let me custom it, customize it if you want. Now, if you talk to this lady right here, she will customize your bike and your outfit. So since we already have glistening black in the uh, sword version, let's go with sparkling white right here. And bam, now we're looking like, uh, now we're looking banging right here. And we can customize our stuff anytime. So I wonder if it goes faster, kind of, but it, it kind of sounds a little bit cooler right there. So we're going to go back to the very beginning. That way in the next episode, we can get our stuff started right here. So let's go back to the uh, the very beginning. Now that we got our stuff, uh, Matt, or our stuff uh, changed, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're going to get our whole Isle of Armor started right here. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.